All right, so we're in one of Ezra's hives and about 10 days ago, something like that, we got in here, we found queen cells. And so what we did is we put a couple of frames in here that are blank with foundation on them. And they really just have not taken to them. And it's been a good minute since we were in here. Uh, they put a little tiny bit of wax on them, but not a whole lot. We put one on either side of the center frame in this brood nest. And then we got, put a couple of brood frames up top here. And the same story. You see the bees are on it and they're kind of drawing it, but not really. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try a different strategy. We're gonna try splitting the brood nest and putting this whole box of foundation in between the two sections of the brood nest and seeing if they'll take it then. Um, sometimes it, they just work on a whole box better than they do individual frames for some reason. They're on a strong flow, so we're hoping that will do the trick. So we're gonna put these brood frames back into this brood chamber box and we're gonna just take that one and move it above this one. And then we'll check back again and see if that works in a week. Right, I'm here with uh, this hive we were looking at last week. So I wanted to see if they start drawing this out and it looks like they're just hanging out on it, not drawing it. Now this is right cell foundation from Man Lake. And I've had really mixed results with it. Some colonies, it seems like they'll take to it and they'll draw it out real quick. You can see they've got some edges started. So it's like they're starting on it and they can see festooning in there too. Um, maybe you can see it better if I pull these frames apart. You can kind of see the bees hanging off each other in there. So they're starting to festoon a little bit, but um, they're not really drawing this out. It, by this time, it's been a few weeks. This should fully be drawn and they should be working. So what I want to do is look at this hive over here. And let's see what they're doing with their foundation. I haven't looked in here yet, so I don't know what we're going to find. Lots of bees. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Well, isn't this interesting? Look at that. That's what we should have. That's what should be happening. And look at there. They're drawing that out too. I don't know if you can see that from here. But we definitely got some wax going on these. This box put an entire box of foundation on this hive and they've only been on this for a week. And they're already starting to draw it out really well. Now this is Pierco foundation. And I haven't had the same kind of problems with Pierco or Acorn. I think Acorn's even a little better in my experience so far than Pierco, uh, but Pierco is really good. And I've had problems with that Man Lake Foundation not working right. So um, I think this has a better coating of wax on it and the cell walls are different. They're not as deep, the cell impressions and the cell edges are narrower. I think it's a little easier for the bees to start on this than it is for them to get started on that right cell. Uh, and the right cell is definitely thicker. It's a thicker piece of plastic like in the center. So it's stiffer, but once they get wax built on it and everything, it's not going to blow out an extractor. And this stuff is plenty strong. So I think we need to try a different box on there, um, different foundation or re-wax it or something. But that hive's going to swarm if we don't do something. So that's my experience so far. I would say Pierco or Acorn is definitely worth it.